Hey guys, welcome to Bloodborne. So I am super gassed to play this game. I haven't played it since that time a couple years ago that we don't really mention where we all had to stay inside. Um, so yeah, I haven't played it in a super long time. I've never finished this game. I've never played it all the way through. I've never played the DLC. I've always gotten up to a certain point jumped into a playthrough with someone else and then never fully gotten all the way through. So we're going to jump straight into it today and then we're going to watch the first cutscene together as well. Now what I am going to say is, unfortunately, I lost the first hour of this game. So this is me in the future coming back in time like Marty McFly and basically doing the first level central Yarnum and the first boss now so let's watch this cutscene and then we'll jump straight into the gameplay The world is so, so beautiful. Like, this is really the aesthetic that I like. That gothic, um, looks like Prague. I th like, this is what Prague looks like. I've never been, but I've seen photographs. Um, gives me that underworld, the film, like those kind of vibes. This is what it's like Monday morning when you got to get up and go to work. <laughs> Slowly, aimlessly walking. My dog is here and he wants to say hi. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> so this opening, I think not only is it so sick, but my favorite boss in the whole game is shown in this opening trailer. is the home of blood and destruction. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. First, you need a contract. Very important. Go find and seal. Now, let's begin the Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Imagine if you woke up and that was like by your bedside. I don't think I'd like survive, like ever. 
I'd just roll over and put the duvet over my head and pretend that I didn't see it. little birds they're so freaking cute not that one but the rest of them ah you found yourself a hunter Okay, let's go. My dog wants to get off my lap, so that's good timing so we can actually start playing. Let me um, get him down and let's get going. Okay, so I might actually seem like I know what I'm doing because this is me a few hours in. So um, I obviously, I am all the way up to think the sixth boss so I'm gonna seem like I know what I'm doing but I I don't and also full disclosure this werewolf killed me the first time so maybe I could try and kill him this time but probably not let's see he's already hurt which does make life a bit easier oh god <gasps> yeah it's already not going great He's so scary, man. Oh. oh, I got lucky there. That was not skill. That was luck. And using the tables to my advantage. I gave it a good go, but I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, oh. FIFA update. Um, so, um, I used to record a lot for YouTube and I used to record all the time and I've stopped. So this is gonna be my first set of videos back. So I stupidly corrupted the file for the footage, so here we are. So I'm going to pick the same weapons as what I've got in my main game so that it's exactly the same. Let's go. So in a few episodes, um, like some of the settings and the camera and the lighting and stuff might be different because I'm still trying to like figure like everything out. And I think the first couple of episodes I covered, or the next episode I'll be covering the blood echoes and the insight like I just was then um, and then I fixed that by episode three so you gotta bear with me if anyone has any tips and tricks about um, like settings and frame rate and bit rate and all of that kind of stuff because I yeah I'm not like super clued up on all of that stuff so any help would be like super appreciated if anyone like leaves a comment below um but yeah i'm just making my way through it i'm just an average oh no i'm just an average girl with a 
a microphone who enjoys gaming. I'm not a professional gamer, quite obviously, by the fact that the werewolf killed me. Um, so yeah, be, be kind. <laughs> I'm probably going to semi seem like I know where I'm going in this episode. It took me like three hours to explore Central Yarnum originally and honestly like it was just i was like where am i going what am i doing so this might actually be better because at least like i'll know my way like around a little bit but i definitely got lost and it was a whole thing even though like i've played some of this before like you 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 don't remember you really don't remember or i didn't remember it's my um pea brain whoa um so yeah and i definitely ran away from like everything when i first came here 100 <laughs> percent So we're gonna cut to like episode two and i'm like what what does this button do again and where am i going again See if he's got anything else to say. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I've never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old grand cathedral. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you have more to say, but we get the gist. But, um, I basically am obsessed with FromSoft. Elden Ring is like one of my favorite games. Dark Souls 3 is one of my favorite games. And obviously I've watched loads of people play this game through and I've obviously played it myself, but, um, I was always put off by the fact that I didn't think I'd be able to play it, but, you know. I feel like now I've played this and got super into this, like, again, and I've, like, played it and not got scared and turned it off. Um, I want to play Sekiro, and I know Sekiro's, like, hardcore. Like, Sekiro is hard. But I feel like this game has given me the confidence to like give it a go and sort of get over that steep learning curve and have the confidence to actually play games that I've never played before. So that is what we're going to be doing. Okay. I'm going to see if I can parry this guy. <laughs> He might kick my ass, but it's all good. Yes! Oh, he's still alive! Oh, I've put my weapon away. Mistakes were made. Oh, here we go. Oh, God! <laughs> that 
annoys me that he blocks. Whoa, he is gonna kill me. See how that confidence... That confidence has um, definitely gone away. <laughs> Did you know that the opening cutscene where it showed you the hunter's dream for the first time? Did you know that if you get all the way up to Murgo's wet nurse... Oh, there's a dude here. Ooh. Um, if you get all the way up to Murgo's wet nurse without going back to the hunter's dream and levelling up, which could never be me, but if you did that, the hunter's dream is actually like on fire which i think is so sick i could never in a million years do that like i i do not have the skill i don't know how people do like blood level four without like leveling up which i think is like absolutely insane i just watched um there's a youtuber that i watched called emolition and she just did a blood level four um father gascoigne fight video which was really fun to watch because i didn't even realize that that was a thing like a challenge like i don't know if it's a speedrun challenge or just like a challenge in general but i didn't even realize i think that's so cool that people are like doing challenges like that oh dear Ooh. I love how aggressive they are. <laughs> I'm so scared someone's behind me. You'll see if you watch um, my next video, I put a jump scare like meter on my videos because I am so freaking jumpy, man. Like horror films and horror is like my favorite, favorite thing. Like you can see Ghostface behind me um, and um, Ooh, trying to concentrate so I haven't finished my sentence. That happens a lot. Oh no, dog. No, no, no. It's all going wrong. <laughs> oh god. Oh, calm yourself, Cujo. Jeez. Um... Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, horror was horror is like my favorite thing to watch, and I I go to a horror convention every year. But I am like the jumpiest person ever, especially when it comes to games, because I feel like they're so immersive that like you basically are like in it. I don't reckon you're from round here. What a charmer, eh? So, um, if you watch any more of my videos after this one, I um, actually have really short hair. Um, I'm wearing a wig right now, so I don't actually even look like this. The first episode that I filmed, um, I had white blonde hair. Like, my hair was like this and it was half white and half black and I shaved my head after I got back off holiday and the first episode I recorded for YouTube of this I had white hair and then I dyed it black a few days ago um, but my hair's like really short like a pixie cut because I shaved it in October and it's now January so I don't even have my like my hair's not grown back yet basically <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, in the next episode I've got short hair and then um, I 
think there's an episode where I've just gotten out of the shower and I look like a little pea. It's so funny, like editing it back. <laughs> so I don't always look like this. I do not always have nice shiny black hair and it's not long. So if I am giving you stranger danger in the next episode, this is what I actually look like. <laughs> well, that will be what I actually look like, I mean. So I discovered, I didn't realize, but you can actually shoot these dogs, which is like really freaking mean. dog in the back and I want to trigger the dogs can I get them to come down here I don't want to target these dudes here we go come on if the dogs all run at me now I'm gonna be fuming why are you target oh no Jesus Christ! This is what I mean. I'm like so jumpy, man. <laughs> oh God. To be honest, you would think this is my first time playing this level through with the way that it's going right now. Jeez Louise. Oh, I could hear him, but I couldn't see him. Why do I keep putting my weapon away? What is that all about? Oh! Sir, what are you doing stood in the dark? Okay. In my other playthrough, I didn't even go up the stairs in this level. Like, I just completely missed that there was a set of stairs here as well. So, at least I'm doing that this time, which is good. Awesome. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as they burned old Yarnum to the ground on that moonlit night. I don't know if that means tonight, but... What's down here? Okay. I feel like I'm not hitting the transformation button like as well as I should be because my I'm pressing the button but the weapon's not transforming. Haha. -ha. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is oh. I don't know if this is true or not, um, well, but if you don't kill these dogs in these cages, I've heard that they break out and they will all like attack you. I don't know if that's like 100% true, but I, I have heard that. So you can tell me if that's true or not, because I've never seen that before. Okay, so I know this dog is guarding we're well not guarding but barking at this freaking woman's door and she's horrible
what in the book? Are you going to tell me where Nick is? No. <laughs> Stood for nothing. My respect for the elderly is what that is. That little did you act. Go on. And look at you think you're all mine, don't you? How long does she go on for? I've had enough of you. Also, like, I'm outside. Am I not covered in blood? Am I not doing my own thing? Like, let's put this in long mode and see if we can. Dude, I thought I was going to fall off then for sure. Okay, so this is Eileen. She is the baddest bee in the whole game. The only NPC that I care about or that anyone mostly cares about. Um, she's so freaking cool. She has the coolest outfit. Like, look at her. She's so freaking dope. Like, I love her. A hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. She's freaking awesome, man. I never remember how to do these. Here we go. <laughs> so cool um i love her accent i live in the north of england um, i'm not from the north of england but i live um in northern england and the accent man is like my absolute favorite i freaking love it okay so i know that there's a couple of beasties around here there he is, walking backwards and forwards. I'm going to save heal because obviously I feel really weak, man. So I think last time I rolled off this side, but if I'm not mistaken, if you roll off this side, it's actually the source spear. Because I, I left it behind the first time and didn't realise and came back to this area later on and there it was, but I kind of don't want to trigger every single rat. Let's grab it. Yeah, it's so sick. Um, let's see. Did any of them jump down? No. I can't even remember what's on the other side, but the saw spear is like the saw cleaver just with a little bit more reach. But I used the I used the spear. So the cleaver. Oh my god, I can hear something. A beast fell on me um, when I came down here for the first time. He like fell on my head and I literally screamed, look, here he is. Like, bro. <laughs> like why are you doing that okay let's um get rid of these guys am i gonna die if i drop down here risky Yeah, that's where I want to go. You see where that beast is there? 
I want to get down there because I want to put that um, he's guarding an outfit I want to put that outfit on dude how do you get over there I can't even remember gotten so used to my dog barking like in real life that sometimes i like don't even hear him bark sometimes so if he like ah. yes if he like barks i'm like really sorry i'd literally just like tune it out half the time now <laughs> Ooh, I think I know how to get down there on that other side. I'm sure that's where I fell down before, you know. Also, um, this little girl, you need her for later and you'll see it in the next episode. But I literally could not find her at all. So I speak to her in the next episode. So I'm not going to speak to her now because you'll see it again but basically i was like i know there's a little girl that i need to find i just could not find her so there she is um so we'll leave that for the next episode okay there was that drop down somewhere let's see if i can find it okay sweet um okay i um yeah let's try and kill this one without the other one noticing which i feel like he definitely just did notice me which is super annoying can you fall thanks to a rat though Woo. Knife. okay so i know there's a sneaky dude here awesome 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 and then if i can drop down here without dying oh oh my god <laughs> i will thank you i will get the hell out of here i'm gonna go and upgrade my cleaver quickly and then i will um try and put a level in stamina because i feel like that's low but um you'll see all of my levels for my actual character when we jump back into like my actual playthrough with my character that looks like gerard way there we go so the doll's awake um and we can talk to her but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and speak to this guy uh -huh. you must be the new hunter welcome to the hunter's dream this will be your home for now i am gammon friend to new hunters i find it suspicious he doesn't know his name hard about all of this just go out and kill a few beasts it's for your own good 
you know, it's just what hunters do. You get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. No. Sweet. Cool. Oh, is this the door? Can't open it. Classic. Run straight up. Straight out. Oh, shoot. Bye. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if I can do it without putting my weapon away. Throw it. Whoa, dude. I got freaking stuck on everything when I did this boss before and I was not very happy about it, you know? See, look, I'm stuck. This is terrible. stamina I'm gonna back up dude this arena man oh that was a risky heal you know Awesome. My heart is still beating so fast though. <laughs> um, dude, even though I, I killed him first time last time, and obviously I've fought him before, like the adrenaline that you get from this game is like unmatched. Like, and I felt this way when I played Alden Ring. So the first from soft game that I played was Demon Souls. Um, and it was on the remaster and I'd already see, I'd seen them before and like I always thought that the games were sick but I was like I could never play them because I'd be crap. So I basically never played them but yeah, I completed Demon Souls. Then I played Dark Souls 3 in lockdown. I played a bit of Bloodborne in lockdown. And then I played Demon Souls, I think, again. And then Dark Souls 1 I attempted. Um, and I always get stuck at Nito and it just annoys me so much. So maybe this game will gas me up enough to finish Dark Souls 1. And then obviously there's bosses in this one that I've never fought before and you'll see in the next few episodes I get to places where I've never got to before and played before um so yeah super super exciting okay so this is what my actual character looks like it's giving Gerard way I'm super into it 
Um, I still have the saw cleaver, still the same weapon, just way cooler, right? My insight's obviously at 22. Um, and I have the rune on that gives you one more blood vial, but I think I'm going to change that because it's only one. It's not that great. Um, but any comments, tips, tricks, like, please leave in the comments below. Like I say, when we go to the next episode, I am not going to have any idea what I'm doing. I think episode two, I fight the next boss i definitely do i fight the next boss and i'm like what button does which and where am i going and i walk into the area unsuspectingly because a little bit that i didn't explore today where the tunnel was i do that in the next episode and it's just like a whole thing so you should definitely watch it don't forget to like subscribe give me any tips or tricks and if anyone knows anything about YouTube and how to get the best like upload quality, then like please leave a comment below because I'm like a total novice, but I love playing games. This is my favorite thing to do. If I enjoy playing them in my spare time, let's put them on the internet so people can laugh at me and maybe I could start to build like a community, which would be super nice. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And like I say, be kind in the next episode because I have no idea what's going on. All the wrong buttons, a lot of deaths, a lot of jump scares. So look forward to that. So I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.